way I was thinking an easy way for you to get your exercise in if you're on a fixed schedule that's tight is to say you work in an office and you go have lunch every day. You have half an hour, an hour of lunch. A great way you could do this is to set a lunch and eating location if you eat by yourself or you can you can convince other people to do this with you. Set an eating location that's a 15-minute walk. Say you have an hour. So set one that's 15 minutes away. Walk there, eat, gives you half an hour to eat, half an hour or 15 minutes to walk back. That is a great way to make a healthy habit in your day. Instead of just ordering takeout or even working through lunch, you actually set it as like a an objective that you have to do if you want to eat. And that's what it becomes. That's what, what, and that's the goal that we want. You know, you don't want to always be battling your willpower and battling, you know, external factors to get your exercise in. If you can make it where your brain has linked eating to you walking there, that just makes it so much easier. It just becomes uh, almost a decision you don't have to make. In order to eat, I have to walk, so I'm going to walk. Instead of getting home after dark and then forcing yourself, beating it into your schedule and beating it into your brain and, and forcing yourself to do it, which there's a time and a place, but this is an easy way for it to just slide right into your life. And that's what we want. You know, a hundred years ago, two, three hundred years ago, people didn't get fit because they were doing pull-up bars and they were doing bench press and squats. They got fit just because life required fitness. If you weren't, if you didn't have a fit body, you couldn't do the shit that everyone was doing, that they had to survive chopping wood, building their own houses, you know, running their physical businesses. Nothing was online. There's no electricity. So you had to be active to live. It wasn't the other way around. You know, now we have to fit activity into our life. Back then, activity just was life. So the easiest way you can do that is to link some sort of objective to your daily fitness habits. Like I just mentioned, walking to go get food is a great one. If you live in a city, you already know what I'm talking about because you have to walk everywhere. That makes it easy. Ain't that many fat people in cities. Ain't that many fat people in Europe. A lot of walking. A lot of walking as transportation, as just something that you have to do, right? This is a very suburban area. You know, people come and they do their laps around the park. Nothing against that. It's not my favorite. I rather walk to the coffee shop or walk my dog or do something productive that involves activity. Because then it's just easy. It's seamless. So you don't, there's no thinking. There's really no forcing. It's your hunger. Say you're going to have food. Like I said, say you're going to have lunch. Your hunger will become stronger than your resistance to walk. So it, it just makes it the path of least resistance becomes physical activity. And that's what you want. You want this to slide into your life and just become you and become your habits and become your lifestyle. You know, you, setting it and co compartmentalizing your fitness works for some people. It worked for me for a while. It's not my favorite anymore. Now, it's just part of my life. You know, this, even working out, when I do set time, it, it just, there's nothing else in my immediate life that gives me the sense of peace, the sense of accomplishment, the sense of, you know, discipline, the sense of pushing through, t you know, being tough and, you know, getting my testosterone going than this. So to me, it's almost like an addiction now. But if you're just getting started, the easiest way is to just as seamlessly as you can slide in physical activity into your life. Change your own oil in your car. You know, these little things is what's going to make it a habit and really just make it part of your life instead of always forcing yourself and then beating yourself down when you miss your walk or you miss your workout. This, now, it's reversed it. Instead of throwing fitness on top of your life and another to do, you know, another thing on your to do list, this is sneaking it in to your life. 
You're going to go to work. You're going to get hungry. Now, you're just going to walk instead. And it just becomes part of who you are. And slowly but surely, this and the body that you want will become who you are. Because that's, a, that's just how you live. You don't see these people out here walking every single day or working out all the time that don't have the body that they necessarily want because it just happens. It's a byproduct of their lifestyle. 